Okay, let us discuss the next problem. This is again a derivation. This derivation is related to lateral displacement through a slab. Let us make the diagram and then we will discuss. So make the diagram. Okay, if you are able to do, let us discuss how we will do. So I have a ray, this ray is coming, this is a slab. Now this slab has a refractive index of n and the outside refracting index is 1 and this side also refractive index is 1. So environment has a refractive index of 1 unit. Now the angle of incidence is theta a. Angle of refraction through the first phase is theta b dash and angle of incidence on the second phase is theta b. Now angle of refraction through the second phase is theta a dash. Now first we have to prove and thickness of slab is given t. The first we have to prove that is theta a is equals to theta a dash. So this we have to prove. Now you see first thing now this angle and this angle are basically alternate angle because this slab sides are parallel. So this side and this side parallel sides. This means this angle is equal to this angle. So I can write theta b is equal to theta b dash. Now if I apply sine rule, so let us say if I apply sine rule on surface 1, so this is my surface 1. If I apply sine rule here, I can write mu 1 that is 1 into sine theta a is equals to mu 2 that is n into sine theta b dash. Similarly, I can apply sine rule on the second surface. So this is my surface 2. So this is at surface 1 and this is at surface 2. So at surface 2. So this I am applying at surface 2. So if I apply, so n into sine theta b is equals to 1 into sine theta a dash. So simple because angle of refraction is sine theta a dash. Now the third equation I can write if I see theta b is equals to theta b dash. So this and this cancels out because theta b is equals to theta b dash. So this means 1 into sin theta is equals to 1 into sin theta a dash. So simply I can write sin theta is equals to sin theta a dash. This implies theta a is equals to theta a dash. Now you see, in this case, even if I have some refractive index here in place of 1, if I have some refractive index here and same refractive index here, so let us say refractive index is mu here, and here also have a refractive index mu. So what will happen? This mu will again cancel out. So we will get this theta a is equals to theta a dash again. So this means even if I dip this slab into a medium that has a refractive index mu, the result we are doing is still valid. So now even later we will see this means lateral displacement that we will find d will remain same even if I dip this slab into any medium because the results we are going to say next we will simply do the geometrical results now we will apply the geometry and the main result we have applied the sign rule here we can see this mu mu cancels out now things are very easy now now let us see this triangle AMP 
this is a perpendicular d and this distance is d that is the lateral displacement so distance between two parallel lines is d if i drop a perpendicular from this point to this extended line the incident extended line if i drop a perpendicular this distance is d now let us say this distance am is x if this angle is theta b dash this angle is theta a so this angle is theta a minus theta b are you getting or not you try yourself you verify yourself this angle is theta a minus theta b dash now in this triangle if i apply sine rule i can write this distance divided by sine of this angle is equal to this distance divided by 90 degree so this means if i apply sine rule i can write d by sine theta a minus theta b dash is equals to x by sin 90 so from here i can say x d is equals to x sin theta a minus theta b dash now again we can apply cos in this triangle so you write so if i apply cos in this triangle so you see in this triangle this distance is t and this distance is x this angle is theta b dash so if i say in this triangle so let us say if i extend and i see this triangle and if i apply cos rule i can say x divided by so this distance t t divided by x is equals to cos theta b dash so if i write the same i can write cos theta dash is equals to t by x so from here x is equals to t by cos theta dash theta b dash now if i plug this value of x into the previous equation equation number 3 will get d is this value now this is the result for lateral displacement so d is equals to t by cos theta b dash into sin theta a minus th minus theta b dash so the theta b dash is same as theta a dash no, sorry theta b so this means now i if i know the theta a and theta b dash we can calculate the lateral displacement very easy now theta b dash generally we know theta a but we does not know theta b dash so what we will do we will apply the sin rule the first equation and find theta b so are you able to write or not just wait one minute so write on and now calculate for this case what will be the delta you have what will be the d so in this case you have to calculate d yourself what will the value of d you calculate yourself i have not calculated so you know you have to calculate theta b dash first because theta is given but theta b dash is not given so you can calculate theta b dash easily from the equation number 1 sin theta a you know n is you know that is 1.66 in this case so it will get sin theta b dash so theta b dash you know now if you plug the value of theta b dash you will get the d that is the important point so you calculate this value d and let us check with your friends are you getting the same idea or not you can take the help of calculator because sin theta b will come out to be some value you can approximate the value it is coming out something closer to 30 degree 40 degree 20 degree so you can have some approximation otherwise you do the uh, exact calculation by taking the help of calculator okay we'll discuss the next problem